Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are here in the VAB today because, uh, as mentioned last time, we have a window for Saturn coming up soon. So I would like to uh, slap together a couple of flights, uh, at least two, maybe three launches to uh, throw out in Saturn's general direction. Um, Really, I have two missions in mind. One is just to achieve Saturn orbit and get a lot of the science that way. And another one is to park in orbit with enough Delta V left over to hopefully do some flybys of uh, Saturn's moons and get some more science that way. Saturn windows don't uh, tend to happen very often, really. So uh, it'd be nice if we could just kind of uh, nail this one to the floor and get as much sent out that way as humanly possible. So... As with most of my build episodes, I'm going to be speeding up this footage in post, and I will see you when we're closer to done. So just to start off, I've done something a little different, gone with the Ranger Block 3 core instead of our usual one-ton bus for this one. In the addition of some uh, RCS and their booms and uh, some RTGs, we're now going to move on to some of the science -y equipment things. Being just a little careful to spread them out and get the weight going. But uh, speaking of weight, we're still quite under our th limit, so we're going to uh, add this little tank down here on the bottom for a little extra fuel for our RCS system, which doubles as our primary propulsion. And uh, we've got all our action groups set up, so it's time to move along. So for the uh, first time ever, I'm kind of toying around with the idea of using a solid rocket motor, namely this uh, wax wing, as a means of helping out with our orbital insertion. All right, well, this is going to be our Saturn orbiter mission. Uh, really, its only goal is to insert itself into an orbit of Saturn and stay there, collect some science, and act as a small comms relay for uh, anything else that we might send its way. Its uh, science loadout is pretty basic. We haven't unlocked any new science parts in quite a while, but uh, they are coming. Our, <laughs> our backlog of things that our science team is researching is pretty extensive. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, I chose to go with the Ranger Block 3 core. I'm sure I talked about that already, although not technically yet, because I haven't recorded the voiceover. Uh, I'm going to try, for the very first time ever in this series, a solid rocket motor as a means to insert into orbit, which will hopefully leave lots of fuel left over on this stage, or on the orbiter itself, to uh, make some corrections, maybe dodge a moon or two. You never know. <laughs> it'll be uh, it'll be fun to see. So if we can get some encounters with this guy, like we just did with our uh, Jupiter orbiter, the Jossum B1 that's been in orbit for years now of Jupiter, then uh, hopefully this mission will yield us lots of uh, good stuff. And all aside from that, as soon as KSP catches up with me, there it is. Bang. Get this set on. There we go. This is going to be our first flight ever being launched on our brand new lifter, the DN-1A, which we should probably put above ground as part of our pre-liftoff uh, endeavor. There we go. That is a big rock. <laughs> All right, let me just uh, double check my staging. That'll go, and then that engine will fire, and then that separation motor will fire, and then we can fire the solid, and then that'll go, and then we're on RCS. Perfect. All right, we'll just uh, get this thing back on and make sure we check our staging. Had issues with that in the past. All right, there we go. So we do need a, a name for this one. Uh, I am always open to suggestions, So, but uh, for now it's going to be Saturn 1. I do plan on changing that, provided, of course, you'll give me something good to work with. And now we'll move on to our... Uh, well, let's, uh, let's add this to the build list. 69 grand for this. Not bad. Uh, added DN1 Saturn 1A to the Saturn to the build list. Not bad. All right, and now we can... Uh, Start again on something a little more purpose built for moon hopping, although I really fail to see why this would not fit the bill. Although I guess we've got some uh, biological samples or something that we could uh, throw on here. Um, we'd have to swap some things out. Really, we could just swap everything out. We could double up on the core. 
I'll say this will give us 0.6 tons, which is not that bad, really. Although, you know what? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to get rid of the wax wing for now. We'll make this just extra easy. We'll just double up our cores. Uh, reposition our RCS thrusters down just a bit. We can belt this fuel tank back on. Good it is service module. Perfect. How much tonnage extra does it because we are at 0.7 of like what 1.2? Not bad. So let's uh, go ahead and fill that with fuel. What does that take us to? 0.762. Oh man, we've got so much room for all the things. I don't know if we have enough things to put on this thing for all the things that we can do things. I'm, I apologize for that greatly. All right, at, at the very least, a pair of biological samples. That'll certainly be well worth it. We might want to go with a one kill newton thruster. Hmm. Zero point seven nine two ton. Oh, we can do a solar sample. That's zero six. That's just an odd weight. Okay, well. Let's do this, because these are 0.15 a piece. Looking pretty good. All right. And we'll put on our solar particle collector on this side. Make sure deployment of that isn't going to... Yeah. Well... That certainly does make things a bit interesting, doesn't it? Hmm. No good way to go about that. might very well be the best we can do. Should probably tuck that down a bit. All right. Let's add them to our action groups or we radio in. Collect particles. Observe. Observe. It's not bad. We're still way under our weight requirement, too. Just so you know. Um, oh, that means we can probably keep the wax wing. Let's go to structural. Duh. Come on. Ah, oh, just, just barely. That 068 over. Oh, that does reduce the mass. Although, probably doesn't help with our stability. Hmm. Alright, how can we shave 0 0.054? Math of the, this is dot zero zero eight. Dot zero two. Are these ones we are using? No. Yeah, it looks like them. Uh, 
I already forgot where those were. What was it? Dot zero one four. Total for that assembly is dot zero two two. So it is just a little bit more than these retractable quads. Very interesting. Wow, those go way far out. Retract, boom, engine, aerozine. Spend the money to upgrade engine. Okay, good. Man, I wish I could scale them down just a little bit. Now when it boots, that'll move those into position. We're still over weight limit though. Ah, come on, slide you down just a bit. We're gonna need the extra room. Two, four, six. And how much fuel do we have to take off to deal with that? You know what? Let's instead of taking fuel out. This is, man, 30 units of fuel. It does put us under the weight limit. Dot 1057. Okay, so we're gonna bring that fuel tank down by a whole lot. Now what we got in there? Eight. Eight units of fuel. Ah, but we're under the weight. Let's see how much we can squeeze out of this. Yes. There it is. How much under the weight are we? Dot <laughs> one dot one nine nine out of total one dot two. Uh, I'd say this is a go. We are this will try to be our flyby missions. Saturn, Moon. Helps if I spelled it correctly. Flybys. Also, uh, if you have suggestions for names, that's always appreciated. Let's just see if we can get the rocket on here without clipping things. We cannot, of course. Well, that's interesting. What in the hell? Oh, those are the... I, I don't know why that's refusing to resize. That is very interesting. So, you know what? We're... Okay. Weird things are happening. Hmm. Well, this just got extra weird. I can't uh, manipulate anything down here. I wonder if this save just got corrupted. Let's uh, save it now. So at least maybe we won't lose all of this. I just need a little extra room here. Uh, and this is not how I want to do it. Ah, humbug. Hmm. 
There we go. I mean, really, I would have liked to put this down here, but it won't let me, as you can plainly see. Alright, well, we're just going to go through and check our staging. Boom, both of those fire at the same time. Perfect, so we'll just leave just the right amount of junk in orbit. And that fires, and then we ditch it, and then we got our RCS. And the booms will deploy, hopefully, shortly after we get these fairings off. Alright, we'll just get those into the correct stage to be after booster set, but before we ditch our core stage. And that's that. So, uh, again, if you've got names for uh, either of these, the one built for flying past moons or the one just built for hopefully parking itself into a nice low orbit, please do let me know in the comments below. And thanks for hanging out, everybody. That's going to do it for this episode, although our Saturn window is not that far off. So hopefully we'll be launching these uh, very soon. So uh, until then, I will uh, see you next time. See ya.